Happy Friday to you. Welcome to the Ochana Today Show. Hope you enjoyed that taste of spring that we quite haven't had yet. But you can get a visual taste with our opening there. Do you want to thank you so much for joining us here? And we want to thank our supporters. These are businesses and organizations that have said, you know, we like what you're doing. Let's keep it going. So we'd like to thank them right now with our premier supporters. They are the big brothers and big sisters of Bowl for Kids Sake, City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, Owatonna Public Utilities, St. Mary's School Night of Nights, Safe and Drug Free Coalition of Steel County, Steel County Food Shelf, and United Way of Steel County. Also, thank you to Amy Swain Hearing Centers and Little Theater of Owatonna, our premier supporters, and then our interlude supporters. They are Abraham Consulting Technologies, Brum Bank, Brenda Bednar Mortgage, Glenn Meager and Tim Thomas of the Brick Meager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Brookdale Senior Living, Claire Bridge and Sterling House, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Carlson Branson and Company CPAs, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, Clancher and Son Landscaping and Concrete, Napa Auto Service, Owatonna Business Incubator, Profinium Financial, R&K Electric, Snap Fitness, Steel County Historical Society, Steel County Transitional Housing, the Third Hand Incorporated Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. Each one of those businesses and organizations is making this program possible, and we'd like to thank them. We'd like you to thank them, too, by going to them, giving them your support, and letting them know you saw us right here on the Oatana Today Show. If you'd like to be a part of this great adventure, we would love for you to come along. All you have to do is call Leanne Alt. She's our producer at 390-5751, and she'll give you all the details you need to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. Stay with us. We are going to be talking about some amazing events that change the face of our community, so stick with us. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. If clothing catches fire, stop, drop, and roll. If your clothes catch on fire, do not panic and run. This only fans the fire. Stop where you are, drop to the ground, and roll over and over to smother the flames. Cover your face with your hands to protect your eyes and your throat and lungs from the burns. This has been a safety tip from the Owatonna Fire Department. Hi, my name is Dave Olson and I'm with RNK Electric where we provide power to the people. We're proud supporters of the Owatonna Today Show. Howdy partner! Come join in the fun at the 28th Annual Night of Nights Benefit Auction, Saturday, April 12th at St. Mary's School in Owatonna. The doors open at 4 p.m. Admission is only $5. There's new and exciting items to bid on at both the silent and live auction. And don't forget to get your car and cash raffle ticket now for your chance to win $10,000 or a brand new Ford Focus. There's great food and a cash bar available. You don't want to miss this great event. So get your cowboy on. And round up your posse. Yeah! And we are back with the Oatana Today Show. It is time to bowl for kids. <laughs> I have with me Michelle Redman and Greg Swaber. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. You just kind of got off an amazing event not too long ago, the, the night for kids. Evening for kids' Evening sake, for yes. kids sake. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Can we do a quick repack? Oh, okay? we sure can. Okay. We sure can. First of all, why don't you introduce yourself so people know who you are. I'm Michelle Redman. I'm the Fund Development Director for Big Brothers Big Sisters. Okay. I'm Greg Zwayward, Executive Director. Good. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's talk, give a quick recap of the Evening for Kids' Sake. Well, Evening for Kids' Sake was a tremendous success. Of course, this community never fails. It comes out and supports us 100%. We had a great evening. Um, we had a goal of $92,000, and we met and surpassed that goal. You know, every day we're getting a few more checks in, so we're going to be a little over $92,000, wow. which is fantastic. That helps support all of our matches right here in this community. Mm -hmm. And that does keep it right here. Yes. Yes. And so what's interesting, though, is that we're doing, you do two fundraisers. You do that one, and then you do both for kids' sake. And Greg, what's the difference in those two fundraisers? Tell me a little bit why you do the two different ones. Yeah, Evening for Kids' Sake is an opportunity for, one, for us to honor our bigs of the year. So we honored our big brother of the year, big sister of the year, big couple of the year, and high school big of the year at that event. And it's really an opportunity to, for us to provide a lot of community awareness to the people who are there. But it's more of a formal dinner, get together, people get dressed up, come out to support us that way. Where Bowl for Kids Sake is really for anybody. Mm. Um, kids, adults, any, any age can come out and do it. Um, anybody can, can help us raise pledges, whether it's the old-fashioned uh, asking for pledges or our new online system that people have really 
uh, bought into the last couple of years. So both for kids' sake, you know, the day of the event next Saturday is really going to be the party after the fundraising for most of the people. Mm. Oh. We do have some people who show up and just write a check, which is great too, <laughs> but most of the people have been doing fundraising over the last four to six weeks or so and will bring their pledges in and really it's our way to say thank you to them and and by having the support of Spare Time Entertainment here in Oatana and J&J &J Bowling Center in Faribault, provide all that, the bowling, the shoe rental, and everything at no cost to us. So literally every penny that comes in pledges goes directly to us to be able to match and support the kids in the community. And then how have been people been raising? Is it by pin? Do you still do that, or is it kind of a flat rate now? We have a flat rate system. The thing is, we went away from per pin mm -hmm. just because we had a bill out then oh. afterwards. And as most people know, once you bill out... Um, <laughs> It's several reminders, and we get about a 50% return on that. Mm -hmm. And we have these people that raise money and go out and ask people, and we really want to be able to get those pledges for them. So we ask that they come to Bowl for Kids' Sake with their pledges in hand, if they do the pledge sheet, or with their online pledges. If people do it online, they do it with a credit card, so they just mm -hmm. bring in the receipt of their online pledges. So it's easy, so all the money is in. We don't have to bill it out. So. And so then the bowling's more just for fun, then. You so, don't have the pressure of <laughs> getting that extra pay. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody can bowl. You yeah. can get a score of a 5, or you can get a 300. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Is it possible to get a score of a 5? Well, there's a lot of gutter balls. A lot balls. of gutters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's happened. And you know what? If you get a 5 or if you get a 300, I can guarantee you, you're going to have so mm -hmm. much fun there. I mean, the atmosphere from when you walk in the doors at the bowling alley until the time you leave, it is a fun, festive atmosphere. Not only do you bowl, but we have games there. We have fun things going on. We have the Vikings cheerleaders coming at a certain time during that day. Um, tons of pictures and prizes and just... It's a great atmosphere. It just starts out that day of giving that we do in this community, and it starts it out right. So if somebody hasn't started um, fundraising, they can still be a part of this because oh, we still have a week left. Absolutely. It's never too late. Mm -hmm. Like we said, there is always the old-fashioned pledge form that everybody has seen, and that you can download that easily mm -hmm. off of our website. But there's also online fundraising, which is super easy. You basically go to our website, and you click on Bowl for Kids' Sake, and you click on um, Start Fundraising. And it takes about two minutes to set up, and you email it out to all your friends, family, coworkers, anybody that you've ever met. You don't have to ask anybody for a penny. Mm -hmm. Let your computer do it for mm -hmm. you. And it's simple. And, yeah, you don't need a week. You don't even need a couple of days. You can do that and get it done without a problem very quickly. Yeah, it's definitely then, not too late because I usually do mine <laughs> about for this point, but I'm actually have procrastinated this year with our other event getting done. Um, but I'm planning on sending mine out today. But really all it takes is that one, one or two email contacts mm -hmm. so you can send it out through your Facebook or other social media, mm -hmm. and the people can just click on it, and they can do it very safely and securely and do it with their credit card. It gives them a receipt automatically, so it helps us with not having to do postage. It gives the person their tax-deductible receipt right on the spot. So it's just it's a wonderful way, and it's not too late. I'm, I'm going to do mine today, and I'm expecting still to raise over $1,000 wow. in Tell the me next week. So. Why? Why is this so important to raise this money? We need, you know, people ask us all the time with, you know, our mentors are volunteers, right. which we don't pay, so why do we need funds with it? But the most important thing about the way we do our mentoring with Big Brothers Big Sisters is we have trained professional staff who are trained to do this. So to do the interviewing and the reference checks and the background checks, and maybe most importantly is to provide the ongoing support once we make those matches so that we can help nurture that relationship. Um, that requires people and, and manpower and time and, and to like, do it. And like, as you said, people who are qualified. Right. Yeah, so there's a certain skill yeah. set that is needed there. Yeah, Definitely. We, uh, actually, our national standards of Big Brothers and Big Sisters require a four-year degree in that. So uh, we kind of joke about it. If anybody in the community is qualified and willing to work for free, we would <laughs> love to have you. Um, I haven't found those people yet, so you know our employees do enjoy to be paid. So yeah. that's where the funds go, is to, to mostly to our staff to be able to provide the support and to do all those background mm -hmm. checks and all to in help ensure the child's safety, but even beyond the child's safety, to in just really to nurture those relationships that we're helping to make. And then you do have events that you put together for those bigs and littles. Yep, absolutely. We have some yeah. group activities almost on a monthly basis. In the summer and fall, we do it a little more frequently. But Why, Yeah, completely understandable, understandable especially after this winter we yeah. had. So um, we talked a little bit about some of the events. When someone comes, if somebody wants to come and they want to donate, let's say they haven't decided to bowl, but they want to come because of, like, of the carnival atmosphere that you yes. guys create, is that something they can do? Oh, definitely stop on by. We do have people that stop on by, give a donation, and then they want a picture with um, the Vikings cheerleaders. Oh. The Vikings cheerleaders on Saturday, April 12th, will be there from 1030 to 1130, cheering on the bowlers, <laughs> walking around, <laughs> getting pictures taken. Kids love the cheerleaders, but i got to say, 
the men like those to boys. get those pictures with those, those cheerleaders. You know, <laughs> they're not only talented, they're very cute cheerleaders. <laughs> so are. people love yeah. to have that picture taken. Yeah. So yes, people can walk in the door. But if you're planning on bowling, we would love to get a phone call. We would love to have you reserve a time for bowling because we are getting um, full at certain times. We do have many times to bowl, but there are certain hours that are completely full. So we would love to get a phone call at 451-5922 to set up a time to bowl. And we bowl from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. that day. And like I said, it is the day of giving in Owatonna. Mm -hmm. We have so many people that come out to to support all the fundraisers that are happening that day, not only with um, Bowl for Kids' Sake, we also have the Young Life Cake Auction mm -hmm. and Night of Nights that yeah. evening. So. Well, that's what's amazing is that you can have three major fundraisers for three completely different organizations and they're all a success because you kind of expect that you know that you're going to have that night and everybody works together and you see each other from each event oh definitely <laughs> yeah. people too i think people have just kind of marked that day off on their calendar they've gotten used to it to coming out and bowling with us going over to the cake auction mm -hmm. and going to night and nights that evening yeah. so it's easier rather than having three separate days where people got to find babysitters and all that. I think a lot of people have just gotten used to marking their calendars for that day, and they just go out and support the entire yeah. community the, the whole day. Good. So um, what is the website and the information, again, just in case the someone wants to The website is bbbsofsouthernmn.org. And you can just go right into our events and then bowl for kids' sake. And not only with the online pledging, you can print out that pledge sheet, but we also have a mobile app. So that will go for any Android or iPhone that makes um, online so much easier. Yeah. I mean, it, it's basically idiot-proof, and <laughs> really the laziest person can do it. So it's great. It is super. And I'm saying that because that's what I use. Um, and for somebody, too, that's not going to be able to come out and bowl with us or maybe doesn't want to do the fundraising but wants to contribute on the website, too, again, you can go to that, click on the link. You can find a bowler if you want to, to donate to a specific bowler. Otherwise, there's just... <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, 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 I'm just starting at zero. So, uh, otherwise, there's a spot where you can just donate in general with it, yeah. too. So if it's somebody who can't get involved in that way, we would love the people to have an opportunity to make a contribution. And I do want to mention, um, like Greg said again, we couldn't do this without our partners. And our partners with the Bowling Alley, with Spare Time Entertainment and J&J &J Bowling Centers, for years that we've had this, for 20-some years mm. that we've been doing Bowl for Kids' Sake, they have never charged us a dime. Wow. We take over that bowling alley. We get the bowling. We get the shoes. You decorate it. You yes, do all and it. they don't charge us a cent. So every dime that people are raising goes to serve the kids in our program, and that is just wonderful. I don't know of hardly any other agencies that can say that mm. within the Big Brothers Big Sisters Network. Wow. We have such great partners. And along with those partners, we also have our agency partners with Federated Insurance Wells Fargo, Go for Sport, Walzer Foundation, and Bremer Bank. We couldn't do it without them. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I know it's a great event that you look forward to doing every year. And I encourage you to go by. Just check it out see what it's like. Thank you so much for Thank you. Time. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Hi, my name is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance. We're here to handle all your insurance needs. We are a very proud supporter of the Otana Today Show. I didn't just want another job, I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. I was new to town and I didn't know where to turn for a job, so I decided to express myself. I decided to express myself and they helped find the right career for me. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Have you talked to your teen about marijuana lately? Maybe you should. Regular marijuana use can sap a teen's motivation to learn. Users do not live up to their potential and drop out of positive activities. Marijuana affects memory and learning and stays in your system for weeks. Marijuana also affects judgment and perception. Reaction time when driving is reduced by 41% after smoking one joint and 63% after smoking two affecting the safety of your teen and other drivers on the road. You need to talk to your teen about the effects of marijuana use. It's not just a harmless high. For more information, please contact the Steele County Safe and Drug-Free Coalition. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson with the Otana Business Incubator. We're here to help small businesses start and to grow. We're a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. 
Welcome to Bremer Bank. I am Jason Eiberg. And I am Shannon Pedersen. Bremer is a full financial services bank. We invite you to stop by Bremer Bank and experience the Bremer difference. You, you are, are always, always welcome, welcome at Bremer. Bremer. Come out to Spare Time Entertainment on Saturday, April 12th for Bowl for Kids Sake to benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters of Southern Minnesota. Start today by forming a team, collecting pledges, and bowling for kids in our community. Call 451-5922 for more information or go directly to our website to set up your online fundraising page. Help us change the lives of local children. Raise some money and join us for a great time on Saturday, April 12th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. for Bowl for Kids Sake. See you there. And we're back with the Oatana Today Show. I have with me Stacy and Jeff Hansen. Hello. Hello. How are you two today? We are good. We're How great. are you? I'm great. I'm excited that you're yeah. here because I know that this is an amazing event that all of Oatana knows about and tries to come out to. So first of all, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Stacy Hansen, and this is my husband, Jeff. We are the chairs of this year's auction. We've been on the committee for three years. We have two students at St. Mary's. Um, Jeff, why is this an important event for you? Why, why do you, because we were just talking about it, and we, it's like giving birth. We talked a little bit yeah, about it. You it's, start, it's nine months yep, long. Yep. You have meetings once a month. They yep. get more frequent as you get closer. Yep. That's a lot of time. How come It is, do that? and the reason, this is the main fundraiser for our school, so it's really, really important for us um, to have a successful event um, when it comes to this because um, it is such an important event. Um, you know, pipeline for financially for the school. So we really put a lot of effort into it. A lot of the committee members, we spend a lot of time because it is really important for us to be a successful mm -hmm. night for us. Yeah, St. Mary's, it's a school where you, it's a private school. Yep. But, so there's other things that maybe those, the, the, the tuition cost doesn't cover. Yes. And so those are, that's why this is an important yeah. event because it allows those students to actually have a more enriched environment of education. Absolutely. What kind of uh, funds, ha what do the funds cover? What kind of things do they help with? Well, it does help keep the general tuition down, which is nice, but it also provides, you know, we do a lot of trips for the kids, and, you know, we also try and um, provide new technology for the school, um, do some capital fundraising for the school when there's a need mm -hmm. that's uh, important there, because those funds are tough for a private Catholic school mm -hmm. to come, come by, so, you know, for it to be affordable for all the families, this yeah. is really important for yeah. us. Stacy, how many years have we been doing this Night of Nights? Oh gosh! This is twi 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. Years. 28. Wow! Yep. And so this the last three years, you've, there's been some changes, a little bit oh, yeah. to the event. Tell me a little bit about some of the changes that we've seen. Well, the event changes a little bit every year. We actually switch our theme every two years. So okay. last year we switched from the Aloha theme to the Wild Wild West theme <laughs> that we're portraying this year. So we have lots of people join us in Western wear, which is fun. Oh, fun! Yeah. Yeah, we've got lots of new events this year. We do raffles every year. Probably our biggest raffle is the ca car and cash raffle, and this year we are auctioning it off a 2014 Ford Focus, Focus yeah. um, or the winner can take home $10,000. So yeah, that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> yes, and we've added some additional cash prizes this year as well. So okay. actually five cash winners will go home this year. How many people will usually participate in the raffle? We only sell 950 tickets, and once the tickets are gone, they are gone. Yeah. And then what's amazing about that is, you know, people will spend money on the lottery when their their choices, <laughs> you know, it's infinitesimal. Yes. Your your odds in this event yes. is, are just extraordinary. So it's yeah. really great opportunity to It is fun because a lot of times you do see familiar faces that win, you know, people oh. within the community, that's yeah. who's buying the ticket. So yeah. it's pretty exciting when you draw that winner that night and see somebody that you know, yeah. you know, taking home a new car or that oh, kind of cash. Amazing. So it's yeah. fun. And that is one of the changes. We are doing more. There's a $3,000 winner, a $2,000 winner, a $1,000 winner, and a $500 mm -hmm. winner. So we're going to have more winners that yeah. night with that. Yeah, so that should that be fun. A little more fun, a little more excitement, Absolutely. a little more, yay! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. One thing to remember is you cannot buy a car and cash raffle ticket at the auction. They have to be purchased in advance. And you have to yes. be there that night. You do not need to okay, be there no. that night to take home a prize, but um, you do need to buy your ticket in advance. Okay. So that, And they can do that yep. through? They can buy their tickets at the St. Mary's auction through any committee member. We actually have an online order form at the St. Mary's mm -hmm. School website, so you can just order your tickets online and pick them up in the school office. Um, Oatana Shoe, Wagner's Lunch. 
Uh, Knights of Columbus. Knights of Columbus. Yep. So those are all for tickets for the event. Yep. yep. But how do they get the raffle tickets? That, those are all the raffle tickets. Same thing. Look at yep. us. Okay. No, the tickets for the event are just available the night of the event uh, okay. as you walk right. in the and door. How many people do you have attend, do you think, normally? We normally have about 800 people. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we do have the raffle, but you have much more than that as well. Absolutely. Tell us what are some of the other things you've got going. Well, we start the night out at 4 o'clock with a silent auction, and we have several categories in the silent auction from arts and crafts to home items. Um, mm. What are some other ones? The classroom treasures is probably the most popular. Oh. The classrooms put together baskets um, representing what they're studying or oh. a focus of their classroom. Mm -hmm. um, there's usually a battle of, with mm -hmm. parents <laughs> over those baskets. Yeah. Standing yeah. over yeah. the yeah. Guarding the bed sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we'll have sports memorabilia, you know, the gourmet baskets, like you said, are really popular. Um, it's some really nice packages, you know, and baskets that are put yeah. together. And then we also have um, what we call a night's night out or a night out where there's lots of gift certificates yep. or tickets to shows, yeah. um, movie theater, you know, whatever it might be that uh, also is on the silent auction. Okay. So, and yeah. then you have a live auction. We do. The now, live, okay. How much fun is that live auction? The live auction is so much fun. <laughs> there's so much energy in that room. There's food and refreshments during the live auction. We have um, professional auctioneers that come down and we have 60 items this year wow. on our auction. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so lots of, exciting. lots of fun packages. To and, and you do, and you talk, we wanted to talk about this, a package. Yes. So to explain to me what that means. Well, typically when you purchase a package, let me use an example. We have a new package this year called a Brew with Friends, which gives a group of 10 to 12 people the experience of brewing their own beer. Okay. So they travel up to St. Paul on a bus, and they go through the three-step process of brewing their own beer. Um, and then included with that is a dinner out at Bennett's Steakhouse. So the package includes transportation, the experience, and dinner. Yeah, so oftentimes any package that are up, there'll be something more than just one thing in, in yep. involved Absolutely. in it. And that kind of makes, ups that value so mm -hmm. that you do get a little bit more for your buck because you're doing a great thing, but you're also having a lot of fun for yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you yeah. talked about there's going to be, uh, you said a Broadway package? There's a Broadway show package, which is four tickets to eight Broadway productions with the Broadway Across America program. Mm -hmm. We also have lots of vacations. We have a Wisconsin Dells vacation, an ice fishing package, a charter fishing trip this summer. We have a Colorado condo, um, Lake of the Woods, um, Rutgers Bay Lake Lodge. So lots You're of You're going to go on vacation anyway. Why not do you get it here and Absolutely. get it for a great cause? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what is the event so that we have the live auction, we do have that. What other things are going to be going on that night? We have lots of raffles. So we talked about the car and mm -hmm. cash raffle. We also have a vacation raffle. Mm -hmm. This year one of our new events is the Wall of Wine. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a wall of wonderful wines and you can choose a cork so then you receive a bottle of wine but there will be lucky winners who take home a larger prize oh, fun. as well so but yeah and we talked to you, you can't uncork that at there at the event no no but no. there's no reason you can go home yeah, absolutely <laughs> the event right. um is there going to be food available there is food okay. and beverages available mm -hmm. at the auction okay and then uh anything else that the entertainment or just that's the, i think personally the uh Auction. Is it the auction is the yeah, entertainment. Really yes, yeah. it Good. is really fun, and and the the auctioneer that we use specializes in charity auctions, oh. so they really make it a lot of fun and really oh. get the crowd uh, to interact with yeah. everybody as it's going on and. And it's just a it's just a fun time for everybody. So I know a lot of people have come to the Night of Nights auction, but I still think there's probably people who haven't. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't know St. Mary's, or they don't know anyone who goes to St. Mm -hmm. Mary's. What is a the reason they need to come and see this event at least once, just to experience it? Well, it, it helps us understand the school. Um, you'll see beautiful artwork by all of our students hung throughout the building that night. Um, you'll get to see the camaraderie between the parents and the staff um, working together that night to really have a good time and support the school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it really is a, a social outing, which is fun. I mean, you mm -hmm. see a lot of familiar faces. Like Stacy said, we do have food and beverage, um, adult beverages. You do have to be 21 years old um, to attend. Um, so it is fun from a social standpoint just to kind of walk around and see all the different items, whether you bid on something or not. It's just fun to kind of, you know, have a night out and, and have some fun in it, yeah. I'm kind of guessing, I know that you're, you're, this is going to be the last event that you guys actually organize, but I'm kind of guessing you're going to still go to this event. Oh, you bet. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> There's no reason. So let's give the details of the event again. When is it? It is on Saturday, April 12th. The doors open at 4 o'clock for the silent auction. Okay. The live auction starts at 7 p.m., but make sure you get your car and cash raffles 
in advance. Yes. Because mm -hmm. um, those are on sale now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And can you get those through the website too? You can. So it's an easy yeah. way. You don't even have to go out. But if you're out and about, there's lots of locations. Yep. Absolutely. And yep. then if Absolutely. they have questions, are you still taking donations for some of those gift baskets as we well? We are, particularly for the silent auction. Okay. We are still taking donations and we'll accept those up through Thursday of okay. next week. And then what number can they call if they would like to more They can contact me directly at 507-363-1503. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. And I know that it really does change people, kids' lives because yeah. you're making it better. But I I know even the people who come, I think they get a little spark and they enjoy that. And I know they look Absolutely. forward to it. So yep. yeah. thanks so much thanks for, for thank coming. Thank you for having thank you. us. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. you can talk to we're growing with you with you in mind in everything we do oh a ton of public utilities It's time for a look at your community service announcements. Quilts and Bloom, a bouquet of color, texture, and pattern will fill the galleries of full-size quilts and samplers at the Owatonna Art Center. For the past three years, Peacemakers Guild, Qu Quilt Guild of Owatonna has been designing, cutting, stitching, and quilting, and will be showing full-size quilt samplers, and more. There will be 75 to 100 different ones, different quilts that you can see. And then each member has made a block for their raffle quilt, which is called Stars in My Garden. And if you'd like a ticket for that, they're only a dollar and can be purchased at the Art Center. Wonder what lies between the looks and crannies of the Art Center? Well, you can discover that yourself. It's the Secrets of the Art Center tour at 7 p.m. on Saturday, April 5th. Nancy Villancourt will lead you through the building, explore the ins and outs and crannies and all sorts of stories that are unique to the Owatonna Art Center. You never know what you might find. It's $5 for non-members, and if you are an Art Center member, it is free, so check that out. Music Boosters of Owatonna is having their pancake breakfast Sunday, April 6th at 8 a.m. At the Owatonna Eagles Club, entertainment will be by music students, ensembles, and bands. Tickets are $5 in advance or $6 at the door. The Owatonna Hospital Auxiliary Sewing Group called Pink Pantry Coffee and Gift Shop and Books Are Fun are hosting a spring spree event at the Owatonna Hospital. Books and gifts for all ages will be available and a portion of the sales from this event helps support the Owatonna Hospital unbudgeted items and scholarships for students in nursing and health related fields. That is all happening on Thursday, April 10th and Friday, April 11th. The Steele County Historical Society is pleased to welcome author Bruce Cohn for presentation and book signing on the book Dakota Child, Governor's Daughter. It's Thursday, April 10th in the Wanger Room of the History Center. This is the story of Helen Hastings Sibley, a girl who bridged the cultures of the Dakota people and Minnesota's first state governor. The author will have books available for purchase and can sign them there for you. Admission for the lecture is free for his Historical Society members and $2 for non-members. And like we said, it is the Night of Nights Wild West auction coming up next Saturday. Make sure you attend that, as well as the Big Brothers and the Cake Auction. Lots of fun stuff happening next Saturday, so we want to see you there. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Oatana Today Show. We'll be back next week. And if you do have any great ideas you'd like to see, all you have to do is let us know at the Oatana Today Show at charter.net. Meanwhile, have a great weekend. We'll see you later.